Hey guys, so you want to install a Just Cause 3 multiplayer server on Linux. This is for 16.4 Ubuntu LTS. We're going to start off to be as root. So sudo su, because this is going to make everything so much easier. First of all, apt get apt get update. Upgrade. And we're going to install some software. So apt get install git. We're going to install steam cmd. Haha, <laughs> I can't spell install. And as you can see, I already have them installed, but meh, works. Next up. We want to create the user that is going to run the server. So add user steam. Choose a password for that user. You don't need those except okay, be that user. So sue steam. Cool, so we are that user. So first of all, we're going to update the steam cmd and that we can do with like so and plus exit is obviously to exit it Cool, so we have updated Steam CMD. Now we're going to install the actual server. Okay, so that's updated. Now we want to create a folder for where the server files are going to be. So mkdir just cause 3 multiplayer. Yeah, sounds good. And now we want to install the actual server files to that folder, and that we're also going to do with Steam CMD. So Steam CMD plus login. Anonymous, and then we want to force install uh, there. God damn it, there, and then home steam uh, just cost three multiplayer. And then we want to do another plus, and we want to do app underscore update. And we want to use the actual app ID for the server, and the app ID is six one nine nine six zero. And we want to validate the files, and then we want to exit it. Now we want to run the server once, because we want to generate the first actual config file for the server. So, go into that folder and run the server executable, basically, and dot slash server. Boop. And it's done. We can close the server down with control C, and you can see here, no config JSON found creating the full config file, blah, blah, blah. Cool. And then we will want to edit that file. So nano, god damn it, nano, config JSON. And here you fill in all your own, basically the IP address and the description and everything else. Announce, we want to have the true because we want to find it in the server browser. We set the description to whatever we want. I'm going to set that free roam. Uh, my IP is uh, 10.13.37. What was it? 39, I think. I want to have the name of death. And then you can specify password and if you want to DLCs and stuff like that. So we want to close that file. Control X, type Y to accept the changes and enter to accept the file name. Cool. 
now we want to install all the packages like the spawn menu, free roam, uh, commands, the chat, stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to MKD here to create a new folder, packages. I want to navigate to that folder. Now we're going to use git to actually get the packages in. It's a lot of typing, so I'm just going to paste it because I have a sheet sheet on my other screen. I'm going to leave this in the video description of what you're going to actually use. But here we go. Okay. So here we have chat, command lines, command manager, free roam, and spawn menu. Next up, we want to add ourselves to the admin menu, and that we're going to do under the free roam and the GM folder. And there we have the config.js, nano config.js. And I have a very, very large font, but basically in the bottom, we have the section called admins. And we're going to add ourselves to the last bit of this file. So. And the thing you actually need is this. You need from this web page, steamid.io. You're going to input your own well link to the Steam profile, and then you need your Steam ID 64S for this. Okay, cool. I'm just going to type in random numbers. So you see basically somewhat what it's going to look like. We're going to stay <laughs> close it and we're going to save it. Okay, that's about it. Now we actually can start the server. And same as before, run the dot server file. And you can see it loaded everything up. And we can try to go to servers. And here we have our server up and running. Yay!